In this month's Max Masterclass, we look at the importance of the fullback role in counterattack. Today, we're very fortunate to have Percy Montgomery with us. And uh, Percy became one of the best attacking fullbacks in the game when he was playing it. And Percy, I believe that the fullback, especially today with all the indiscriminate kicking, it's a wonderful place to attack from where the defense is already broken. Uh, definitely back. I think fullback is a very specialized position, especially with all the kicking today in the modern game. I think it's very important for the wings to drop back to enable the fullback to counter attack. Well, as Percy said, that's the operative thing is that the wings must fall back to help the fullback run. Because if he's, if he's isolated, and that's why you've got to be careful of a rush defence. If you're bringing your wings into a rush defence, it's very hard for them to get back to help the wing, the fullback to attack. So what we're going to do, Percy going to show us, and we're going to have Peter Muller playing as a wing to go back and help Percy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. One of the most exciting positions on the field is fullback. Use your fullback, especially from indiscriminate kicks upon him, to run, get your wings back to thing, and you can create some exciting running rugby from the back. Percy, thanks very much for coming, Monster. Pleasure, Mac. Good to be here. Staying with Mac, we asked him for the most important skill or tip that he likes to pass on to young players that he coaches across the world at Sala Clinics. I really believe that the basics are no different from starting like this to ending up. And at the top, I believe a lot of our players forget the very basic things that make, will make them a good player. And what we do here, we go over the salient basics that you should start about passing and handling and support play and beating your man and ball retention and just little things like in a scrum, where your feet should be, where your arm should be. If they just keep that through their rugby, they'll become good rugby players. And it's like building a house, as the, the late Doc Craven always say. You've got to put a foundation first and then play off that. And hopefully we've laid a bit of a foundation.